Hi, I'm Luke Gross. I'm a realtor with Records Results Real Estate here in Southwest Florida. And I work with a lot of buyers. I work with a lot of buyers with some challenged credit. And what they often think is if they don't have enough credit to get a mortgage, they can't get a house with better terms than just renting. Well, something you should consider asking, you know, a professional that you could work with, such as a realtor or uh, another real estate investor of some kind, is suggest to them the lease option. You know, if you're renting right now, then somebody owns that property they might be interested in considering the lease option. So basically what a lease option is, is it's, it's giving you the opportunity to lease like you would as a typical tenant, but you have the opportunity to purchase this property within a designated period of time. This is called a lease option or a lease with option to purchase. So basically, you know, you're going to have to come up with a larger amount down. You know, typically if it was, let's say it was a thousand dollar, rental agreement that you had with your landlord, normally what would happen is you give them a thousand dollars for the first month and maybe you're going to give a thousand dollars for the last month in a security deposit to equal your rent. So you're going to come up with three thousand dollars and you're going to live there for a year and at the end of that lease period you'll either have to renew your lease or you'll have to move out and find another rental opportunity. If you lease option, you'll have to come up with a little extra money. You might, it might be $5,000 for the same type of property. You know, they might ask for more money down because it's a little higher risk. And you will have a designated period of time to build your credit to a point where you're capable of going to a bank and getting a mortgage. And then you theoretically can purchase that property from that landlord or the existing owner of that property that has agreed to give you that lease option. You're not going to own the property. You do not have any tax advantages while you're in this lease option agreement. But the benefit is while you're paying a portion of that monthly lease option payment, let's say it's the the $1,000, you know, a portion of that could actually be allocated towards the predetermined purchase price. So if you entered into a lease option agreement, you agreed to buy the house for a for $100,000, let's say it's a three-year option, you're gonna get $5,000 down payment, just for example, you're gonna pay $1,000 a month, and every every month, let's say it's $100 of that 1,000 is gonna be allocated towards the purchase price, and a portion of that down payment is gonna be allocated towards the purchase price. At some point, you'll realize that, yes, this is a good deal for me, I'm bankable, I can actually purchase this property from this owner, I'm gonna exercise my option to purchase, or you can make the decision at the end to either renegotiate your option or walk away. It might be a good option for you, especially if you're not in the market right now to actually buy due to credit issues or whatever the circumstances might be. So do me a favor, click at the link at the bottom of the video, ask questions, make comments, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, videos regarding questions that you should be asking when you're looking to buy your